So today, continuing in our series of the Synology DS1010 Plus, now you got your system up to date to the latest firmware, which is Synology DSM5. It's fully optimized, it's operational, you added your RAM, you have a backup in place of your system, your laptop, to your Synology. But what happens if your Synology dies? So you need to have a secondary backup done and that's what we're going to talk about today. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? This is Herve from Herve's World showing you that IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and tech reviews of great products like the Synology brand, NAS, the in particular, the DS1010 Plus, and we're going to be discussing backup options for your backup. Now remember, RAID is not a backup, it's just a redundant aspect of your disks. It's not a backup, so we need a backup, and that's what we're doing today. Anything we discuss, you'll find right on the bottom right over here. Let's get this thing going. Okay, let's take a look. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is to get up to uh, DSM-5 or higher. Now we go in and you're going to go to Applications. You're going to Cloud Station. And what it's gonna tell you, you need to do three things. Download it on your computer. Download it on your DS Cloud on your iPhone or iPad and you're gonna to need to download the Cloud Station client on your device. Now, once you do that on all three devices, you can configure your permissions, admin, different users, or Plex servers. You have what's being backed up, what's online, and it will show you version histories of up to 32 backup versions and lastly we go to settings and all the folders that I have backed up on the Synology. Now you can also go to user sync profiles here to select what groups to create so for instance we go in we type in Hervé it will back up all these folders you can hit apply and it will have this folder there. So let's do for my wife as well. We do create. And, uh, and then we can hit cancel for autofill. Apply here. You can select enabled for all the user groups associated with that folder and user. We go here and you do the same thing to apply, make sure it's selected, like so. And that, on this version, is as simple as that. Next, we're going to go to the phone, and let me bring it closer for you to see. Okay, on the phone, I have a variety of um, Synology apps. We have the Finder, Backup, Audio, we have moments, our pictures, and the DS Cloud. For okay, so first thing you do is you select the folders to sync. So I selected all the folders on my NAS, and then you click Next. It will then ask you if you'd like to do subfolders, and it'll show you a max size. So what I'm doing is a two-way sync. That way, if something's missing on my phone, it's updated to the NAS and back and forth. Also, this will sync it from the NAS to my cloud. So I select subfolders and then you hit done. Now, you'll notice that there are currently syncing files on my NAS and it's doing it. And if you'd like to see what files are being done, then all you do is you click on recent changes and it will show you exactly what's currently being uploaded on your device. And it's as simple as that. So the NAS has a backup to the cloud and vice versa. 
Now, you can click on settings to configure. I do Wi-Fi only syncs. You can verify certificate if you like. If you like the geofence, you can also do it. You can configure a passcode, but it's not necessary because I have it enabled with security. And all we do is wait for it. And when you come back, it will show you the exact number of files that are being configured. And it's as simple as that. Okay, so there are a couple caveats to note. You have to enable DSM-5 and higher to, when it first does it, the backup to the cloud, it does a full backup, a full backup. And then it will do an incremental backup, which is, let's say this is the full backup. It'll do that first. And then when it has change, so this is the delta, it will already have this and it will just do the difference, which is the change. So when you add something else, it already has this, it will add the difference, which is the change. So full backup and then it does an incremental differential to your cloud. So it's a very good system. Um, it's giving to give you flexibility of all your pictures stored in one place, all your file structure stored on your NAS. But what happens if you have a fire or your NAS gets blown up or drives die? If you don't have RAID set up, the proper RAID set up, download it to the cloud. And that's gonna do it for this episode. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.